What is up my awesome people, Ace Rocks here, and we're coming at you guys with a new video about putting my opinions and views out there on the next Call of Duty that's coming up, and I just want to like make a video explaining to why I think it might be worth it or not to buy it, and just to start off, I'm gonna go over some pros and cons, like, and I'm just basing this off of the trailer and like everything that I know so far. First off, the game looks good, and I mean like graphically, it looks amazing, I mean it's gonna be a next gen title game it's gonna be it's gonna look beautiful like just like every other next gen game that's come out for the xbox one playstation please it's, it's gonna look good either way and um just from the, that trailer it looks like a good improvement and that to me is also a bad thing because if you go back and look at any of the older call of duty trailers it's the same thing like they put out something and it looks amazing it makes you want to buy it but that's the whole point of a trailer for you to look at it and be like oh that looks awesome and then go and buy it and another pro is like it's actually a good chance for the next gen to like show its colors and like the abilities because like it supposedly like has better connection services I mean it's gonna have better graphics either way it's just it's if it's going to be a good game, now is their chance to like put something out that's really good that a lot of people are going to want to buy an Xbox One or a PlayStation 4 just to play these games. And yes, people do buy the things for that reason. And next we're going ahead and get into some cons. And just like any other Call of Duty that's came out for the past couple of years, it's going to have the curse of being the same old, same old. And what I mean by that is, is like, the past couple of Call of Duties I've personally absolutely hated. I didn't think they were any good whatsoever. Black Ops 2 was okay, and that's actually the gameplay you're watching. And that's literally the only Call of Duty I own today. I've sold all of them. I'm pretty much done with the franchise, but I'm actually willing to, you know give it a chance and that goes on to my next con it might be just another repeat call of duty that they're just throwing at us to for us to flock to and just take our money see honestly in my personal opinion call of duty has gone way down than it was supposed to or a lot worse than it's supposed to be it's it's it can be a fun game but i think that they ruined it and that's just my personal opinion but oh well and that's that's that was actually my last con is like I think the series is going down the wrong path like instead of you know actually trying to make a fun game they're trying to like improve on every single thing that they have which they don't have to they already had a great game you should have just you know I, I would have been fine with COD 4 with a ton of map packs <laughs> but that but that's me um and the last thing I'm probably gonna last thing I'm gonna talk about is the gameplay that you're seeing in the background. And this is the reason why I'm saying that it's going down because everybody has a problem with campers and I'm pretty sure at this point in time you're just seeing me sitting somewhere shooting people. And that that's what I'm talking about. The series has a lot of issues that can be addressed, but they haven't been addressed. And like I just kill and the only reason why I did so well in this game is because I kinda went on a killing spree because I was camping. And I was doing that like on purpose just so I could make this video just to point out like Call of Duty has flaws it, and it always will and no game tend to come out with no flaws. I mean just look at all of the other Call of Duties like Modern Warfare 2 great freaking game like I love Modern Warfare 2 but so many glitches so many problems it, it broke the game for the first like I don't know first half of its life cycle. Um, Black Ops 2 <laughs> I, don't, I personally don't know of any problems other than like you know guns being overpowered and stuff like obviously it's going to be like that but like the faster it gets help the better and like I think the worst problem for all of these games is that there's like an excessive amount of BS that us of players like have to deal with on a daily basis like we don't we shouldn't have to deal with not being able to get into games we shouldn't have to deal with that there should be dedicated servers for that and not whatever the hell they're providing for us now like it just gets on my nerve that they're just putting games out year after year after year and they're not they're not making it any better they're just you know kind of throwing extra crap in that we don't need <laughs> It's just, it's ruining it, for me at least. So, um, that, that kind of ends what I want to talk about. So, this is the conclusion, 
and pretty much is the game going to be worth buying it or not and honestly if you were a diehard Call of Duty fan and you buy every single game in the series hell why not but if you've been playing the past couple of Call of Duties and you, and you don't think they're any good and you, you like the older ones better be skeptical like me and wait for a little bit before it comes out so you know like, or I'll even rent it when it comes out. I think Redbox will probably have it when it first comes out, but y you never know. So, um, yeah, and that's pretty much all I want to talk about in this video. If you guys did happen to enjoy the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button because I make awesome videos like this all the time. Peace out, my awesome people. Chopper awaiting orders. Stealth chopper inbound. Stringer one two. Final attack heading is one five zero degrees. Care package inbound. Be advised, hostile RTXD spotted. Valley. Hunter killer drone ready for deployment. Hunter killer drone deployed. Mission complete. Solid performance.